What's up, DP? I'm Jude Cotty here with Logan Server and Natalie Zbinden. On the ninth night of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, honoring Todd Field with the movie Tar and Martin McDonough with the movie The Banshees of Inisherin. Let's see what they have to say. Hey, Todd, I have a couple of questions. So, you grew up in California and you also went to high school in Portland, Oregon. What really made you intrigued about the German composer Lydia Tar? Uh, well, I was born in Pomona, California. My parents had a chicken ranch, but they moved when I was two. Um, but I really grew up in Portland, Oregon. Um, well, Lydia Tarr is an American. That character is an American. She's from uh, Staten Island, New York. Um, and she's an American composer, conductor, who is heading a, a, a major German orchestra, which is a fairy tale because no woman has ever done that before in reality. Um, and you also went to acting school in New York, and not only that, but you were also a jazz musician, and you were also in countless movies earlier in your life. So where, like, when did you have that switch from uh, acting and directing, and what made you want to do that? Well, I always, you know, I'd always wanted to make my own films, and I acted for a very short period of time, about five years, I guess, when I was younger, when I was probably about your age. Um, and uh, as soon as I could get behind the camera, I did. And while I was in film school, um, I had made a film right before I went into film school that went to the Sundance Film Festival as an actor with Victor Nunez, a director who had a film here last weekend, actually. Um, and uh, it won the grand jury prize and had some attention. And so my phone kept ringing. So I continued to act even after film school um, just to pay off my student loans. And the last scene of Tar, was it really, was it a dream or was it really reality? Oh, I don't know. I mean, that's, have you seen the film? I have, yeah. Okay. Well, what do you think? I don't know. It came out of nowhere, so I would love for it to be reality, but it'd be pretty cool if it was a dream. Well, it's, it's up to you. It's not for me to say. I, it's best that I stay out of, I stay out of your way. All right. Thanks, Don. Yeah. Hey, Scott, can we ask a couple questions? Uh, can you give us a little insight on what you do? Yeah. So I'm the executive editor of awards coverage at The Hollywood Reporter, and I host our podcast, Awards Chatter. And then one week a year, I come up here and do a few of these tributes. And what really uh, inspired you to pursue this career? I love movies, which I think um, probably most of the people you talk to, I bet they say. For me, um, I got into it because I loved old movies. And then I realized that, you know, there's not every new movie is up to the standard of the great classics, but there's still every year a handful. And so that's why I cover the awards stuff specifically, because that's the the best of the new stuff. And I mean, you do something really, really cool. So what was the best moment of your career? Ooh, that's tough. I think the first time I got to go to the Oscars, because that's what I watched and loved growing up. And um, it was very surreal to finally get to go. All right. Thanks, Scott. Thank yep. Hey, Martin. So with having such a unique storyline in the movie, The Banshees of Inisherin, where did the inspiration for the movie come from? Uh, I just really wanted to tell a breakup story, really, between two friends and, and set it in the most beautiful place that I could, which is the west of Ireland. What, what, what advice would you give to young aspiring filmmakers, particularly those, um, you know, exploring the world of the film industry? Um, just to have a vision, have, to tell your own stories, just believe in yourself and keep working until, keep working and working until it's, it's good. Especially if you're a writer, just keep, keep doing it and trust your own opinion. And be honest. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Thank you. What a way to end the ninth night of the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. I'm Jude Cotty. Logan Serber. And Natalie Swindon. And we're out.